So now, before I bore you with the things like demand curves, supply curves, producer surplus and consumer surplus, let's go into something simpler. Everyone knows cookies. You know cookie, I know cookie, and I have a pack of cookies here. Now, let's say the pack of cookies costs $5. Now, if it's $5 and you say, hey, the cookies are a little bit expensive, I can't afford that many cookies. I'm just going to buy one pack of cookies. So great, imagine a graph, the vertical axis being the price and the horizontal axis being the quantity. So what you do is that I say, at $5, I buy one pack of cookies. Now, if I drop the price to $4, now $4, you say, hey, maybe I can buy a little bit more cookies. Maybe my mom wants it. Maybe I want to eat a little bit more. So you say, I buy two packets. And if I lower the price a little bit more and I lower it to $3, now you might say, hmm, $3. Right, I'll buy even more cookies, so I buy three packets. I load it to two dollars, you buy four packets, I load it to one dollar, you buy five packets. Now, what you see happening is that on the graph, you have five dots. And these dots basically show the relationship between the price and the quantity. So in the next checkpoint, you will see how these points can be joined together to form the demand curve.